Hey there everybody, it's Cornelius and I'm back again with the final episode of Battle Brothers for the week. So, they apparently pushed the beta patch to, uh, pushed the beta patch from, I guess, the beta build to the regular build. And pretty much what all that means is that now we can have up to, what was it, six more? Yeah, six more guys that we can push into basically like a reserve camp. And to the best of my knowledge, they will still gather, uh, still gather experience as they're in there. That way, if we lose anybody, we can put them, uh, basically, hopefully we can swap them out pretty easily. And that's the hope for it, at least. I don't know if that's exactly how it'll work or not. But what we're doing now is we're still on the patrols. So probably what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and cut to the next time we find somebody to fight, I suppose. And also heal up, I believe we needed to do. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll cut to then. I'll see you guys when we find somebody. All right. See you then. All right. So welcome back. We tracked down some... Oh, they don't let you move around anymore. They don't let you move around anymore once you have the, uh, have the prepare combat thing up. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, pretty much there were about six bandit raiders. I caught a trail cutting through the woods, which I knew had to be somebody, and I followed them all the way through here, caught up to them eventually. It's a bandit marksman, some bandit raiders, and it looks like they now have what biome you're going to be fighting in tucked up here at the top, which is pretty nifty. So we caught them in the woods, obviously, and we're going to fight them in the woods. Shrubbery can hide characters from being detected from afar. We had enough time where everyone healed up. We apparently... We formed up in a line. Oh, that's right. Crap. I forgot. We now can build out a line. Ooh, I messed that up. I messed that one up. Okay, well, luckily, nothing really too horrifically bad. But yeah, I forgot about that. We now uh, have the chance to build a battle formation. Okay. Well, I want to get you in here then. And I'll probably end your turn there, or do I want to move you out here? Can't move you out there. Never mind. End your turn. Alright, you're going to start chucking axes at us. When you're moving up there, you're going to head straight for that guy? No? No. Okay. Let's see. There's two bandit raiders down there. It looks like they're not really that heavily armed. There's trees and boulders all down that side. Okay. I'm assuming probably we won't be able to get through there either. I'm going to move you up here, though. You. I'm sorry, because the because the boulder? Yes, because of the boulder. So take a shot at him with your crossbow. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and end your turn there. Bus is driving by outside. We can't move you there, but we can move you there. All right, well, let's do that then. We'll get in close, I guess. Again, same thing. Can't move there. Can't quite move there. We'll move you up there, though. Now you, I'll move... Yes, you do have a shield again, so I'll move you here. And I'll move you here and hope you can swing at him. You can. Is anyone else two moves? It'll be six AP. He won't have enough, so go ahead and take your swipe at him. I don't know where we're gonna have, where we're gonna need more guys. So there's gonna be three of them down there. There's gonna be three pretty heavily armored ones down there, up there. Um, I guess where's more of the map? It's about equal distance. I'm gonna leave you here on the off chance that someone comes from the front. I don't think anyone's going to come from the front, but it's a possibility. Really? You can't make it there? Alright, well, you're going to move up here then. And then you, I'll move you down here. Oh, and there's a woodcutter. Alright, I'll move you there. Yeah, you can't attack anybody. It's kind of what I expected. Now, is there any chance? 8%? 10? 18? Sure, go for the 18. All right, missed everybody, which is better than hitting somebody. All right, so there is one guy coming from the front there. He's gonna stab at us. He's gonna probably as well. Now you, 16. I'll move you up here though, and no, I'll move you up here though. Oh, and you can't do anything now. Okay, well, I'll move you up and over then. And you, I'll reload can't hit anybody there. You'd have to move forward three spaces. 
which is pretty much you're gonna have to... Oh. Okay. Uh, I guess I will have you just end your turn. And you, I'm probably actually gonna move up here, because I think I'd rather try to kill him quickly. Alright, you, can we... No, probably not. Alright, you, I'm gonna move up, what, here or there? I'll move you up there, and have you just end your turn. Pretty much you're there to catch him when he eventually comes through. Can we... You won't be able to split his axe in one hit. Let's just go ahead and try and hit him. Now you, same thing, you're not gonna be able to kill him. But you can hurt him pretty good. So that hopefully 38% chance, try it. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, and then move at least up one here. And you... You do that, you're not going to be able to do anything. That's unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be able to do something at least. 69% chance, didn't quite get the kill. 29% chance, or try to knock you back one. Try to... If I knock you back and then move, you won't be able to attack anyways. So go ahead, try and stun him, I suppose. Two stun attacks. Very nice. Okay, there's a crossbow man there. He's going to, yeah, try to break our shield. He's going to move up. Alright, who am I more concerned about? I'm honestly more concerned about him. Uh, who am I more concerned about? I guess I'm honestly I'm more concerned about him. So go ahead and try and kill him. Very nice. That was... Very nice. Alright, well you're moving up there, and I'll have you wait your turn. Because we'll see how much damage we can... Really, you missed 64%. Alright. You, like I said, you're going to wait your turn as well, because he's going to move all the way up till he has only two left. And try 64% chance that he missed. Alright, you, can we kill him? We did. There's only three left, which is those three, so start making your way back here. Same with you, start making your way back. I'm sorry? Okay. Sure. Alright, now you, you're gonna move up here, take one slash at him. That at least puts him in, uh... Puts him in overwhelmed range. You can move up as well. Yeah, that's fine. And you can move down here and start trying to swipe at him. Hopefully meaning that he can kill him, and I guess move up here. Alright. Now you... I'll move you... Hmm. He's only going to have to move one, so he'll be able to hit us anyways. So I'll move him forward one, just so you're there. I'll move you forward one, and slash at him, just to get it started. Yep, knew he was going to hit us there. There's not really any point to you anymore. Not really much point to you. Basically, I'm trying to see who can get to him quick enough. I don't think anyone's really going to get to him in time. You need to wait your turn. You need to go ahead and try and get around him, I suppose. And you might be able to... Oh, no. Never mind. Okay, well, here you're definitely going to be able to get around him. And you... Two away. That's good. Can you get up close enough? You cannot. And you're going to try to kill him? Ah, we almost got it. So hopefully our... Uh, Hopefully our Bill Hook man Halstein can finish him off. 63%. Beautiful. Alright. Well, that's very nice. Nice new overlay. Victory. We Sir Theodoric leveled up. Loot. Got some more tools, which is good. We're gonna need them. Because we still need to buy some. Alright, we'll loot everything. And then we're gonna continue whoop, continue on. I guess we're actually gonna head down here to Holschlag. And basically, same thing, we have three days left, I'm gonna cut, and if we run into somebody else... Wow, I thought we gained seven tools. Do we already burn through four of them? Alright, well, I will see you guys when we find the next people to attack. Alright, see you then. Okay, so, I'm cutting back to this because I forgot we can reorganize our line, which I want to do. So, need to make sure we do that before I forget again. So where do I want everybody to be positioned at? Well, definitely we want to be kind of centralized. And now... I think I'd rather have our axe guy kind of on the outside here. Do I want him on the outside? Maybe not. 
I... Wait, do they switch? Ooh, they do. All right, do you switch? You do. Even better. Okay, and then I want you down here. I would rather have our three ranged guys like that, like that. Yes. Okay, I think I like that. Because we have guy that can destroy shield, guy that can destroy shield. Hopefully they can kind of envelope in, envelop the, you know, swing in. And I forgot, we have to level up Sir Theodoric. Let's go ahead and start leveling him up. I mean, I think I want to get... Uh, the, the whole debate is, do I want to try to survive longer, or do I want to try to kill quicker? And I think for now, I'll try to survive longer, I suppose. Click here to level up. If I click there, does it? Oh, it does now. I wonder if it always did. All right, well, we'll boost that up. We'll boost that up. And then you always need more maximum fatigue. And I don't know why you need so much maximum fatigue, sir. All right. So, yeah, we're basically with two days left. We're heading our way up here back to the main last staging area because I don't want to have our time tick out on us. But all right, I'll cut back when either we find another battle or if we're turned in the contract. And I'll see you guys then. Alright, so I didn't really find much else out there, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just turn the contract in. Say we have one day left, so technically we could push it till the morning, but we're not likely to find anybody in that short amount of time. So, on our return, Sir Sylvan von Goswin stands by Wendell drinking wine and seems to ogle a few women gardening below. Without turning to face you, he asks how many you killed on your journey. 33. The nobleman chuckles. You make it seem so easy. Again, without looking, he snaps his fingers. A man appears from the side with a satchel in hand. You take it, then you take your leave. Enough marching for today. Okay. Now we can sell stuff off. What are we selling off? Did I already sell stuff off? I think I already did, actually. I mean, do we really need 105? No, we don't need 105 ones. We'll sell that off. Don't need that. I mean, we'll keep those three, I suppose. Probably sell off two more of those. And we can probably sell off... I don't know, do we want to try to start matching up shields? that's the case, we'll sell off those two. Yeah, for now. And then, we'll sell off the hatchet, because we're never going to use it, most likely. Okay. Well, what's this next contract? When you find Sir Wolfgang von Goswin, that's kind of weird. He's sending off a few knights, chasing them out the door with a few parting curses. Inside of you, however, seems to momentarily settle the man. Sell sword, good to see you. Better you than those so-called men. He takes a seat and pours himself a drink. He takes a sip and stares at it, then downs it all in one go. My loyal bannermen refuse to go take on the goblins which have camped west of here. They talk of ambushes, poison, and all that. His speech is increasingly slurred. Well, you know all that, right? And you know what I'm asking next, right? Of, of course you do. I need you to hand me another drink. <laughs> Kidding. Go kill those goblins, would you? Let's talk money. Ooh, nice new little images. Rest assured that what I'm offering you now is a fine prize for your work. You'll receive 1,420 crowns when the contract is done. Give us more in advance. Not in advance. Dang it. Okay, good. He didn't give it to us. Give us more on completion instead. No way, Sir Wolfgang von Goswin shouts, bursting with anger. Kind of odd odd placement there. I feel like it could have extended out easier. Maybe they just wanted it to look longer. I mean, that's not the right word, but maybe it looks better this way than if it was extended out. Paid 1,420, so that's all he's given us is 1,420. Give us some time to think about it. What kind of men do you have to hire? You have very expensive men to hire. A retired soldier? I think, honestly, I might want the retired soldier. More than the betrayer? Ooh, I don't know. How far away is... How far away is... Not Rupert. He's one of these guys. Halstein. Hartwig the Fearless. How far away are you from leveling up again? You need 500 more experience before we can get... Is this... yeah. Half the bonus to the captain's resolve. Oh no, that dude within five tiles or less. Hmm. So we'd always have to keep him near the betra near the deserter. You know what? Let's go ahead, let's pay 3,000 for Baldemar. Yeah. Yeah? I don't know, who would we replace out then? I don't know who we would swap out. Asgir, maybe? Who's our lowest attacker? 59, 57. Lars. Lars is actually not that great. At least with attacking. 57. 
57 it is, but he's got... I mean, maybe? Do we wait, or do we take him? Wait or take him? I... Uh, we'll, we'll hold off on it now. We'll see how bad this uh, goblin camp is going to be. Yeah, I accept this contract. Alright. Goblins out to the west. Hopefully we can get to them while it's still nighttime. We don't have anything that needs repaired or anything. We're not going to make it to them by nightfall. So, we'll camp out and we'll wait until nightfall again before we attack them because goblins... I don't know. In my opinion, it's always better to attack goblins in the night. That way their ambushers can't hit you with uh, their poison arrows as easily. I'm pretty sure their weapons are still poisoned, but the arrows aren't. Or the, the arrows definitely are. The weapons might be. I don't know, to be honest. I don't even know if we're going to get to see who's there. It's not looking like it. Interesting. All right, well... We will camp out here then. Camp out here until nightfall. Oh, we do see him now. Some goblin ambushers and many goblin skirmishers. Interesting. I wonder how many this is going to be. Afternoon, evening, dusk. Come on, nightfall. Night. Okay, let's go for the attack. So we're facing him on tundra, apparently. Some goblin ambushers, many goblin skirmishers. No special event. How many is going to be? Like, I was thinking 16, but 12 will do. Now, question is, are they going to move towards us, or are they not? And I think I remember this from last time. I think they do not really move. So I'm going to have everybody wait a turn, just to see. But I'm pretty sure the goblins generally just kind of sit there. Yeah, you can hear him forming up shield walls. So, you guys will move up. I guess we'll do what we usually do. We'll move up two by two. Two at a time. That way we can still hopefully shield wall or something if need be. And still, basically not have to worry about being uh, caught too unawares. At least that's my hope. We'll see if that actually pans out or not. A little cautious advance, but it's all right. Yep, I'll move up there, down there. So I do. I definitely like the new ability to make a uh, battle formation. Okay, so they are coming towards us. Hmm, that's interesting. It's definitely interesting. I thought they would have stayed where they were. Okay, well then, you. You have a five percent chance or a ten percent chance. I mean, I guess take two 5% chances, because your arrows are not likely going to be very useful. 8% chance, which, bleh, which will get better as soon as you miss, but still not really that good. Okay, you. Do I want to have you stay there, then? Uh, I mean, they've all moved already. Go ahead and wait your turn. We'll move the guys up as needed. 20% chance? I was going to say, you have the best percent chance to hit him, buddy. You're not going to be able to do anything now. You're going to have to wait for him to, for some of these guys to move up a little bit. So you're moving up here. Take a swing at him. You hit him. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Now. He's not going to be able to hit him. It costs three to move. Light snow? Okay, so it costs three to move across frozen snow. Do we want to try to get up and around him? Fault. Hmm. Yes. Go ahead, take a swing at them. Kill them. Good hit. Have they moved already? They have. You know what? Let's move up at least here. Because then he'll move there, he'll move there. No, we need to move like that? That's not going to work for anybody, though. Move up one. Uh, yeah. Move up one, I guess. And then you... You're going to have to move up two, one? I mean, honestly, right here is just about the best spot for you, because you can still attack there, and we'll try it like that. See if that makes it any better. However, I'm worried about Falk out here by himself. He's still here, the blade. I think I'm still leaving you there. I'll leave you there. They're all going to start shooting at us. I thought they'd start moving up. 
Okay, good misses because of night, I'm assuming. Pretty much every time they miss, I'm assuming it's 100% because of Nightfall. Alright, so they're not really moving up on us. They're very content to just sit there. Maybe, unless there's more goblin ambushers than there are goblin skirmishers. Which could very well be a possibility. I don't know, to be honest. Okay, do I want where do I want to move you? Move you here? I don't know where they're going to move for. Like how they're going to move. I'll move you here for now. We'll end your turn there. We'll see what they're going to do. They're probably... Oh! They have like goblin pipes. You hit us, but you didn't poison us because it didn't hit, didn't draw blood. So it has to deal health damage, HP damage to poison us. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Okay, well you... Move up one. Take your pot shots at this man. You missed. I can't really say I'm surprised. Okay. I don't know if they're going to move up on us, so as much as I don't like doing it, go ahead and wait. Yeah, all of you guys can wait. We'll see if they will move up on us or not. I don't know about you, though, man. I mean, sure, we'll just we'll have everyone wait as needed. You can take a pot shot, 18% chance to hit him, and you killed him. Very nice. All right. Yeah, go ahead and wait your turn. We'll see what they'll do to us. If anything. I'll have you wait as well, because if, if they're not going to move up towards us, I don't want to move you back. Yeah, and it seems like they're not going to. Okay. Yeah, and see that dealt. Okay, so it has to deal HP damage. Alright, so they're not going to move up towards us. So we need to move up towards them. Move up two. They've got shield walls. How do I want to do this? Uh, da 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 I'll move you up here? No, you'd almost have to move down here. And then you can move here at least and still get a shot off. 5% chance, go for it. Didn't hit anybody. Can't really say I'm too surprised by it. Move up there. You. Hmm. Not happy about it, but try to move into there. Yep, try to move into there, you cannot anymore. Which is not what I like to see. Okay, well that's your turn, I suppose, because you're poisoned. You need to move up here. You need to try to move up into there. Yeah, okay. Well, this will be interesting. Can you chase him down? I'm sorry. Really? Oh, you're so close. Okay, so Falk is going to have to be the one to get him. So instead, move back like that. Can you move as far up here as possible? Get in reach of him at least, I suppose. Falk, I'm counting on you, man. Move up here. Okay. You. You need to move up here. Okay. That's all you can do for now. They're going to keep shooting at us and probably start hitting more of us. Okay, wow. I'm amazed that missed. Trying to stab us. Didn't work. Trying to shoot us still. Lucky misses. We did have a guy move up into our range. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought they would have done that. Okay, go ahead. Take your, what, 14% chance. And you hit him. Good hit. You need to reload, and that pretty much makes you unable to move. Which is okay. Yep, he's going to shield wall and slash at us. You. Honestly, I feel like I need to have you wait your turn. You can probably need to wait your turn as well. Alright, you. Is there anybody that has a good chance? No, so just go for him. And again, you missed both times. Not too happy about it. Okay, try and move up. Okay, try and move up. Okay, try and move up. Very good. Finally managed to get to him. Hopefully, kill him? You didn't kill him. Alright, split a shield. Didn't quite manage it. Now this is going to be interesting again, because move up, get pushed back. Move up, get pushed back. One more time. Oh, come on. Are they going to move up to us? If they're going to move up towards us, I'm perfectly fine with that. By all means. Okay, well. Armed with a shield, 36% chance. That is pretty pathetic, I'll be honest. But we got lucky and got a hit there. They are going to move up towards us. Okay. And you're going to move around to him. That's 
Interesting to say the least. 51% chance or split a shield? Split a shield? That gives you how much? 25. Go for the 51% chance to hit him. Alright, you did. I feel like, unfortunately, you go for the 48% chance to hit him again. You killed him. Beautiful. Who next? 38? 28? Go for the 38. You missed. That's okay. You. 43? You missed. That's alright, I suppose. Now they're going to keep shooting at us. Hopefully they will continue to miss. Because that poison is not fun. Really? He moved up towards us. The, the bowman moved up towards us? The ambusher, I guess, moved up towards us? I wasn't expecting that. I would have thought they would have tried to keep it keep as far back as possible. That's very interesting to me. Okay, well, you have a 10% chance to hit him, or Rupert is very hurt. I think what I'm going to have you do is instead you need four to do it. Move up one more. Sure. Okay, you. Again, you can't really hit anybody. Is it worth it to pull out a notched blade? Probably not. Okay, can you please kill the Goblin Ambusher? Alright, now. Who do I want to kill next? I think we're going to focus on this guy. And try to kill him. Alright, you. Can you... Ah... Uh, his turn is done. Go ahead and wait your turn. Because hopefully, he'll be able to kill him. I don't know if he will. But I'm hopeful that he will. Alright, just go ahead and end your turn. You, same thing, you're gonna wait a turn? Alright, and you, come on. 31% chance, 36. Really, there's... Uh, go for the 36, that's... We'll get the 10%, so it'd be 46. Once it eventually gets around to him. 18, 23, 53. Go for the 53, you gotta. Alright, well he's at least now... He should have been, but apparently he was not overwhelmed. Alright, 37, and you killed him. Beautiful. Move on up to the next guy. End your turn, because that's all you can do. Okay, you. Split a shield. Take a swing at him. Alright, that's fine. Take two. Very good. Can we... Do we want to try to catch up to them? No, I'm not really concerned. We're not looking to kill every single buddy. Every single person. We're just looking to kill as many as we can. Do I want to leave you there, or do I want to try to move you up here? I think I want to move you up here, that way you can swing at any of them. However, it does mean we're more likely to get hit by poison. Ooh! Rupert! You're worrying me here, Rupert. Don't get hit by an arrow. Rupert, please. Do not get hit by an arrow. You can't die like this. You cannot die like this. It's not how you go. Alright, can you... You can't. End your turn. Crap. Um, end your turn. You. You need to swap to your weapon. You now have five. Unfortunately, it takes you three to move forward. It's all going to be up to Rupert. On if he can or cannot kill one of them. Move up as far as you can go. You. Oh boy. Interesting. 28, 28, 28. Try and kill him. So close, but not good enough. If I move you up here, you will be able to take a swing at him. I think we're going to wait a turn. He's done, right? Yes, we're going to have you wait. I'm going to have you wait. And I'm having all of you wait because I'm hoping that Rupert will be able to kill somebody. Okay, that's... That's fine there. You're fine there. He's going to try to run. We killed him. Beautiful. Alright, you. Move up here. Get in close to them. Okay, Rupert. You need to hit him. Beautiful. Next guy. Okay, that's that's fine. Alright, you. 43% chance. You missed. 33% chance. You missed. They're running away. I'm happy with it. By all means, run away. That means less likely to try to hit Rupert. Which reminds me, the fact that Rupert's lucked out. <laughs> I need to try to rename, uh, try to need, need to try to rename Lars. I forgot about that. Need to 
throw a title onto him. Alright, slash him, try to kill him. Okay, try to... nope. Alright, next guy, you need to kill him. Alright, cracked him in the head. Move up here, take a slash at him. Beautiful. Move up there, can't quite. Alright, you, not quite. You just stay where you're at. Alright, you can get up next to him. You can move forward. Oh, you can't. Because you are poisoned. I was about to say, you move forward one so you can still attack him. They're continuing to run. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, who's next? Can you try to... He's fleeing. Okay, so we just need to get people next to him before he flees. Or, you know, do that and try to kill him at the same time. All of which is fine. Wow, how could you move that far? I don't know. Alright, you're gonna go there. You can't swing at him. He's gonna try to run away. And he's gonna try and run away again. Good stuff, we killed him. Alright, now we're just ticking down the time. Waiting for that goblin to run away. Ooh, what is this? They added it in. The enemy retreats. The enemy has battered and beaten. Those few still alive scatter away in all directions. Will you hunt them down to claim their heads and possessions or declare the battle won? Ooh, so they may have finally added in so you don't have to sit here and just constantly end the turn. I like it. Run them down or it's over. I'm assuming run them down means we have a chance basically to try to catch up to them. But we're just going to say it's over. I'm hoping that's what it means and not that we would have engaged in like a secondary battle. So it is like a goblin pike, jagged pike. Long jagged pike that can tear bleeding wounds and keep enemies at bay with its long reach. It's actually pretty bad. Or at least pretty bad compared to the weapons we have. Reinforced skirmisher shield. Wooden skirmisher shield. No, okay, so they're both the same thing. Alright, well we'll take everything. We'll leave it. We desperately need to heal up. Goblins put up a good crafty fight, but you managed to kill them all. Their camp set aflame. You order the men to return to get ready to return to Sir Wolfgang von Goswin with the good news. Time to collect our pay. Alright, head back to Thunderwold. Alright, and actually, we will probably head back to Thunderwold next time. You go ahead, level up Rupert. Nope, wait, hold on. Before I forget, Lars. Come on, Lars, where are you at? Skipped right over you. Lars. No, not dismiss. Change name, title. And there we go. Twice he's escaped death by... <laughs> by the skin of his skin of his teeth, and we finally have granted him the correct the correct title for it. Sorry, I stopped talking for a second because I was wondering if that was better. It is not. Okay. And then Rupert. Rupert, we are giving you that and that. Headhunter? Yeah, I guess I'll probably give you Headhunter. Or Crusher? Increases shield splitting? No. No, I think we'll probably do Headhunter. Plus 10% chance to hit the head for critical damage each time you hit the body? Sure. And then we'll start stacking them up that way. Alright, give him more attack. Give him more melee defense. More maximum fatigue. Good stuff. Alright, well that's where I'm going to wrap this episode up at, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, see you then.